Hi everyone, it is now the last week of April, which means it is time for another planner flip through. If you feel like I am chirpier than usual, it is because I am. Um, it is currently summer break for me, so I have finally been sleeping well for the past week and I don't know, I'm just so full of energy. Okay, anyways, let's get started with the flip through. I find the monthly section to be the most boring, so um, I'm just gonna quickly go over that. This was my spread for April. Um, I once again did a running tracker, but instead of like tracking my miles, which I feel like looks really, really messy, um, I just went with a check mark. And that way there's also little pressure for me to run a lot. Um, just as long as I ran, I put a little check mark and I think this looks a lot better. Um, April, I had a lot of exams, I had a lot of projects, papers, stuff like that do. I also had a few birthdays and yeah, this was my last week of undergrad. That's about it for the spread. I already have May laid down, um, but not much planning there. So I'm going to move on to the weekly section. Um, let's see. So I'm not too sure if this is where I last left off, but I am just so in love with this fresh lemon theme. I think it is perfect for spring. Um, and then this was the last week of March. Um, I started doing this like honey drip theme. So this was like a Winnie the Pooh theme and I thought it would be appropriate to make little honey drips, but I realized that it kind of looks like pee. So I stopped doing that um, midway through the week. But um, a lot of people on Instagram said that it definitely looks like honey and not pee. So maybe my brain is just dirty. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just used some Winnie the Pooh washi from my shop. This wasn't a particular kit or anything, I just used washi and also I picked out this like light lavender Tombow dual brush pen, this light pink and also this buttery yellow. And I also doodled a bunch of bees and um, I think it looks really really good, super cohesive. Um, and then this was the next week, I based it off of this like uh, sleepy time sleepy time washi tape from my shop and i love this washi so much um so i just used these like super pretty foiled heart stickers from clever gal crafts and this week was also really really busy because i was um at the height of preparing that is a new word um i meant to say preparing for all of my final exams so yeah um i still really like this pastel kind of look and i wrote everything will be okay all right moving on this was sort of like a strawberry theme and i used some decorative stickers from two little bees i think this is so 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 cute um typically when i think of red and green i think of christmas but i think this works so well together i had my linear programming final on this day which was really 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 stressful for me um, but i did get final grades out for this course and I did really well, which I'm so proud of. I'm still waiting on grades from two more courses, so I'm gonna hold off on celebrating until I get those back. But yeah, um, I really like this as well. And then for this week, I did a plan with me. Um, this was last week's plan with me. And the writing looks a lot different from my previous spreads because I used my... Um, Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen and whenever I use fountain pens my handwriting just automatically changes like it's I, there's like no way around it I'm not sure why I think it's like the angle I hold the pen at so that is why everything kind of looks uh, italicized I did the washi banner thing and it just looks really really pretty all right so I'm now gonna move on to the daily section and I have to say in the month of April there were a lot of spreads that I really, really like, so I'm so excited to share them with you. I think this is also where I last left off. Um, this was March 26th, and I wrote down a little section for some upcoming goals, and just for fun, I doodled some lemons. You'll notice I do this a lot, like, a lot of the things that I draw make no sense, but I just feel like it, and I end up doodling it. This was the Winnie the Pooh week, which I did in coordination with um, this weekly spread. So um, 
yeah i just once again used the light lavender pink and buttery yellow tombow dual brush pens as my base and i brought in any other winnie the pooh things that i had i also doodled some bees everywhere and clouds and i have to explain this joke so in linear programming, there is a method of finding the optimal value called the two-phase method. And I was calling my friend and we were talking and I was telling them about the two-phase method and they heard it as two-phased method. And that just, that made me laugh so, so, so hard. I'm not really good at telling stories and jokes, so perhaps that's not really funny, but yeah, I just had to document that in my planner because I was, I literally had a stomach ache from laughing so hard. And this is continuing the Winnie the Pooh theme. I was a bit busier on these days, so I didn't do as much um, crazy doodles here. And I just realized I didn't fill in this. Um, I didn't fill in this header, so I'm gonna do that now. This is for work. Anyways, um, yeah, so I still went along with the color scheme, but I didn't do as much doodles or as many doodles. Um, I did go to this cafe called Baddies with my friend Tiffany, and um, we had a breakfast burger and a chia pudding that we shared, so I just made a little doodle of that. And then this was the last day of March. Here I was calling my friend and they gave me this like cat in a box puzzle and it was really fun. So I just wrote down the puzzle and doodled a bunch of cat things. So again, like it doesn't really make sense with the theme or anything, but um, I just doodle whatever I feel like doing. And um, I didn't really write anything here. So that is that. Moving on to officially April, I have to say, the start of my April was so rough, so that is why, like, you'll see I didn't do as much um, decorations on these days. So uh, April 1st was April Fool's and I uploaded my diagonal planning video, which I thought was really funny. And I'm just like skimming what I wrote and um, I, I wrote that uh, my diagonal planning video had a lot of dislikes, <laughs> which I honestly thought was kind of funny. but. Um, anyways, moving on to Saturday, there were absolutely no decorations. I also didn't do any headers. Um, I was just very frustrated because I felt like um, we were unfairly graded on one of the assignments, so I was just kind of ranting. Um, and then moving on to Sunday, after having a rough few days, I guess I wanted to do like a weekend reset, so um, I just lettered that in and drew a cute little emoji. And then moving on to Monday, this was once again in coordination with the weekly spread, this one. Um, I don't always like coordinate, as you can see, this one isn't really matching anything, but on certain weeks when I get really excited about a theme, I will definitely coordinate it. Oh yeah, I think I filmed a daily journaling vlog with this week, so I'm not gonna go too in-depth with this. I really like this. Um, I used the, like some of the affirmation doodle stickers from my shop, um, just because again, I was having a rough few days, so yeah. Um, I then went to Nani's Gelato with my friend Tiffany. If you're wondering who Tiffany is, she is probably like my best friend in Toronto and in university. We met in first year and we are still friends now, although she flew back to her home country on Monday, so I very much likely won't see her ever again or for at least quite a few years, so that is kind of sad, which is why during these weeks you'll see that um, we're gonna hang out quite a bit because I just wanted to spend as much time as possible with her. All right, and then moving on to Thursday, I went to the library, I was um, brainstorming some uh, ideas for this like stationary bingo thing that I uploaded onto Instagram. And then Friday was the last week of classes, which was kind of bittersweet. Um, as you can see, I had a lot of classes. Moving on to Saturday, um, I was mainly just studying for my finals. I doodled some little things at Robarts Library with my fountain pen. Um, this is me with giant eye bags. And then moving on to Sunday, I watched the Our Planet documentary, just one of the uh, installments with my friend. And I love all things nature, I love animals, so I, I was just feeling really happy and I doodled some 
like I screenshotted the um, documentary and I doodled some of the animals. So we have a Sega antelope, a cheetah, and I honestly have no idea what this is. Like the documentary, I don't think specified what this animal was, but I thought it was just so derpy and cute and I had to kind of make a doodle. All right, moving on to Monday. Um, what happened here? I had my uh, linear programming final at 9 a.m. and understandably I was very very drained from that final because it was three hours of just intensive math and problem solving through this little emoji and my to-do list is really short. Um, moving on to Tuesday, I messed up this day so badly. I was using this like Tombow dual brush pen and I think it was like dried out or it was like or it was like defective in some way and the ink came out like really really saturated and dark like it's not supposed to be like that um, and then I tried to like do some lettering to make it look cohesive but um, by the time I got to you I was like okay this is so ugly <laughs> so um, I just ripped up a piece of sticky note and covered it up and I actually quite like how this looks Anyways, um, here I was brainstorming some ideas for my planning and journaling tips video, and that's about it. Moving on to Monday. So the reason why I covered this up is because, like, again, the Tombow pen was so saturated. Um, it was definitely a defective one. So, like, it kind of it heavily shadowed through my page, which isn't common. Um, so I just picked out this, like, dark washi tape. And this was, like, the only dark washi tape that I had to cover it up. And I actually quite liked how this looked. So I decided to take inspiration from these sunset colors and use it over the next few days and yeah I don't know I'm just so happy with how this turned out and it's kind of funny because I would have never done this if it weren't for this little fiasco so yeah I'm um, here I was I was doodling some ideas for my mini kit and I ran a few errands I was taking some notes on a book that I was reading and then I love this so much again I just use these like sunset colors to draw little planets and stars and stuff I went to a restaurant called Planta with my friend and it was an all vegan place I've been to this location quite a few times and they blow me away every single time um, and then on Saturday I just continued studying for finals as you can see some days I write a lot and I, I don't even remember what I wrote um, and if you kind of contrast that with Sunday, I didn't write a lot at all and I didn't even finish my to-do list. Um, I did a lot more than what was written here just because I was feeling burnt out and I doodled this little emoji. Then moving on to Monday, again, like the contrast here. Um, I wrote a lot, I did a lot, and it was just overall a very, very productive day. And um, I ran out of space, but at the very end of the day, it started snowing in the middle of April, uh, which is pretty typical of Toronto, to be honest, but I was just like, what the heck? I'm so done with this. Snow during final season is just not fun at all. Um, and then moving on to Tuesday, I was mainly working on uh, preparing for my new releases that was going to be happening on Friday. I also finished reading How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. And on Wednesday, um, I think I was, oh yeah, I had a final exam, completely forgot. And I went kind of like people watching at a cafe and I doodled a bunch of uh, strangers that were standing around or walking by. Um, this was the matcha latte that I had, which was really, really good. I really like this. I should do this more. Um, Thursday it was also a really busy day, so I didn't like do any. I, I didn't use any colors or anything. I had the new releases, so it was also really busy. Um, I had this fun idea to take the um, tissue paper and also the vellums that were releasing on those days, and um, I kind of ripped up a little square and made little swatches. I drew this little washi thing and I think it turned out really really cute. It's kind of like fabric swatches. Also I spelled swatches wrong but that is okay. Um, moving on to Saturday, nothing too exciting. Doing some brainstorming. I also had my final exam um, 
it's been less than a week and I just completely forgot everything that happened but yeah I had a final exam on this day and then Sunday was my first day of just no school and I told myself I wouldn't be working but I still ended up working however it was like things that I really wanted to do anyways I've said this before but I designate um, certain days to not work but I typically end up working not because I have to but because I really really love what I do and I think that is a very good sign anyways on Sunday I did a lot of cleaning because if you've ever been a student you know that exam season is rough and things like chores typically get put on the back burner I went to a cafe with my friend Tiffany and this was the last day I got to see her which was really really sad um, and it was kind of rushed because obviously she had to pack and stuff but yeah it was really nice just talking about I guess everything that happened in the past four years since we've known each other so yeah I had a shakshuka and it was really really good moving on to Monday um, I did quite a lot on this day and you'll notice that like um, so previously my headers would be um school work and other but since i am now on summer break i changed it to work other and also learning i'm still learning french and spanish and i'm also working through this game theory book which i'm really excited about so um that is why i still have a little section for learning also i watched um the new batman movie with my friend so i doodled this really derpy batman and i actually think this is really cute um starting tuesday i Actually, no, I think starting, yeah, Monday night, I had a really bad anxiety episode and it has lasted honestly until now. Um, so hopefully I feel better soon. But yeah, Tuesday, I had a really bad anxiety day. So um, at the end of the day, I just wrote down some things that I was grateful for just to uh, bring some positivity. And <laughs> you can kind of see when I have bad mental health days, my planner spreads kind of reflect that. Um, I wasn't really in the mood to journal a lot yesterday, and today um, I still have a lot of time left to actually fill this out, but yeah, nothing too extraordinary going on. So yeah, that's about it for my spreads of April. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and that you got some inspiration. I cannot believe we are one third of the way um, into 2022. Honestly, this has probably been the one thing that has kept me sane <laughs> for the past four months. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to keep going. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!